Hey guys, I'm Aria, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys some ideas to decorate a home coffee bar or coffee station. And I'm gonna share with you guys how I decorated my new coffee bar. I'm really, really excited about it, it looks so good. I love coffee, I love coffee multiple times a day sometimes. Sometimes it's once, sometimes twice, sometimes three times. I don't talk about that. <laughs> and I love going to Starbucks and Dunkin', but most days I make my coffee from home. And I really, really love fun flavored coffees. I love fun coffee mugs, syrups, all that kind of stuff. And so before creating this coffee bar, all of that stuff was sort of in pockets around the kitchen, which is fine, but it just wasn't ideal. And so now I have a place to have all of my coffee stuff together. I'll be sure to share links for all of the things that I got in the description box below if you do get inspired and want to get some of these items for your own coffee bar. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I did. All right, here is a look at my coffee bar all undecorated and plain. I got this unit from Target. I did have to put it together myself and it took some time and frustration. <laughs> But it looks adorable all finished. So highly recommend if you don't mind putting in some work or hiring somebody to put it together for you. But what I love about it is, first of all, I realized that it goes a little bit outside of the wall. I'm fine with it. I did measure the space and I decided that I was okay with that little bit of overhang. So I love the white and the black because it matches the rest of my kitchen. And then it's got some storage space here, some shelves and some shelves on the bottom. These are adjustable so you can adjust the height. And then I love these little sliding barn doors with some more storage and shelving because then you can kind of put stuff under there that doesn't look as cute and you can hide it with the door. So originally this is actually a TV stand or an entertainment center unit, but I'm using it for a coffee bar. And this is what this top little shelf here looks like. This is a sign that I got from Home Goods. I saw it a couple years ago, even before I had the idea to put a coffee bar in this little corner, but I think it's perfect and it looks so cute. It says coffee, a hug and a mug, which is perfect for me. Okay, so first I'm gonna add this good day sign that I picked up from Target. It also, you swing it around and it can say good night. And then I'm gonna add this little make yourself at home and dinner sign that I also picked up from Target. And then I'm gonna add this life is beautiful sign that I also picked up from Target a while ago. It was in the little dollar spot section and I thought it was so cute. All right, next up to decorate the top, I got this really cool Lazy Susan from Target that I'm gonna put right here in the corner. And for on top of there, I have this really cool glass pour over coffee maker that I'm gonna put on top right there. Not only does it make coffee, but it also looks adorable. So cute. And then when I'm making coffee from home, if I wanna make like a cold foam or put in my syrups, I do like to measure them because I like to be cognizant of how much of each ingredient I'm putting in my body. So I did buy some new measuring spoons and measuring cups to match the little decor I've got going on here and then this little basket all from Target that I'm gonna put right here. And then when I want to make ground coffee, I got this little coffee container. It's got a little scoop. I'm gonna put some coffee grounds inside here. This is gonna go right here. And then I got this cute little cream pour that I'm not sure, honestly, <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure I'm gonna use this all that often with like actual creamer or cream, but it looks cute, so that's why I bought it. So that's gonna go right here next to the ground coffee container. And then the last thing for on top of the Lazy Susan is a little faux plant. I'm not great with actual live plants, but I like the look of them, so I got a little fake one because he can't die. He'll be there and green forever. Next, I'm going to add my little Nespresso pod organizer that I've got here. I picked this up on Amazon. And now I'm gonna go grab probably the most important aspect of the coffee bar, the coffee makers. Because without them, you could have no coffee. I forgot earlier to add my little Little Mermaid figurines back to the top shelf. They also used to live here before I started organizing the coffee bar. They're not coffee related, but they are cute and Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie, so. That's why they're here. All right, so aside from the pour over coffee maker, I've added my two go-to coffee machines that I use pretty much all the time when I'm making at home coffee. I also added in my milk frother, which is here. And this is my Nespresso Virtuo machine. And it uses these pods to make the coffee. And then this is just a regular run of the mill Keurig. Makes coffee using K-cups. I love both of them, just kind of decide, depends on which mood I'm in, but I use both of them pretty much all the time 
And then what's going in this spot is pretty much my favorite part of coffee. All right, as I said before, I love fun flavored coffee. So I love mixing up the different combinations of syrups and cream and creamers and all kinds of other stuff to make the best tasting coffee that I can and probably sometimes the sweetest coffee that I can get. <laughs> But because that's such an important part of my coffee, I wanted it to be an important part of the coffee bar. So I got these bottles to put all my different fun syrups in. And then I also went to an Etsy shop and got these labels made that reflect all the different flavors of syrups that I have. So there's eight different ones. They look so cute. This Etsy store did just the best job. I will absolutely link below where I got them from. The bottles I got on Amazon, I just poured them into the bottles and put the labels on myself. So this is the vanilla one. I use this one a lot. And then you can see this is amaretto. It looks really cute and it's also delicious. So let's put the syrups on the bar. All right, so here's what the syrups look like on the coffee bar. I think the top looks so good so far, so cute. So here's a closer look at all of the syrups that I have up here. So I've got vanilla, amaretto, glazed donut, English toffee, cupcake, Irish cream, ice cinnamon roll and Christmas cookie. All of them are oh, so, so good. And now they look so, so cute. All right, now as we get into the lower area, it's more of the storagey type things. Still looking cute, obviously. So first, this is where I keep all of my K-cups. I got this little holder on Amazon. And then as you can see here, this is where I have some cool mugs. And then down here, I've got my favorite mug ever, which is Mom Fuel, and it's gigantic. Like, if you can see next to like a regular size mug, it's it's huge. <laughs> Very cute though, and I've got like a little travel mug back there. This is all of my gourmet marshmallows that I have. I thought it'd be fun to display them here, and some cute mugs. I'm not gonna say all my mugs because I have a ton of mugs. And what I actually really love about this is that not only does it look really cute to have all my mugs right here right by the coffee maker and the syrups and everything all together like i said before but also there's so much storage here that i have space for more mugs which if you know me you know i already have like 100 plus mugs so like i probably don't need more but the extra space is making me think maybe i could get a couple here and there and not feel too bad about it we'll see and behind door number one we have some extra syrups. As you can see, I still have some storage space here to put some other stuff, but this is where I keep all of the rest of my bottles of syrup. And then behind door number two, this is where I have some backup K-cups, some hot cocoa, ground coffee, coffee beans, and then all my teas and everything down there. I just love having all of this stuff here in one spot in the coffee bar because previously a lot of that was like over in the pantry or over by the sink. And now it's all in one place looking adorable and functional. All right, so as you can see, I still have this little coffee mug tree over here next to my sink that is still filled with a bunch of mugs. I'm still gonna keep this, I like it. The coffee tree didn't fit over on the coffee bar, so I'm just gonna keep it over here for my other mugs. And then that's, I also have a bunch of mugs over here. Most of these are like my travel mugs. I decided to keep them in the cabinet and then put the other ones over on the coffee bar. But as you can see, I still have space for more, so. There's new mugs in my future, it's very exciting. And that, my friends, is my new coffee bar. I hope you guys liked it. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys think about Mommy's new coffee bar? Good. Do you think it's cute? Yes. Is it functional? Yes, yes. I don't know what that means though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks for the review, guys. I Hey guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I put together my coffee bar. Hopefully you picked up some inspiration and some ideas for your own coffee bar or coffee station at home. Be sure to let me know in the comments if there are any ideas you have for other things that I can add to my coffee bar that you think I would love. I could definitely see adding and changing out some of the little decorative touches for the different holidays or seasons, but I also could see just keeping it like this year round. So I don't know, if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.